Okay, so in today's video we're going to be tackling how to do some graffiti in a HO or O scale. This is my way of doing it, just a quick disclaimer, it's not the best way, but it is a way you can do it. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So for today I'm going to be using these pens, We these are Posca pens, you can get them, they're like three quid a pen, they aren't cheap but they're not too expensive, you can also get quite big packs of them, you can get packs of ten, I think they're 15, 20 quid, they might even be ten, I honestly can't remember, um, but that's what we're using, this one is a five millimetre, this is a one millimetre, which is the size of the nibs. So what we're going to do first is you're going to want to take the bigger we're going of to the two. Draw a basic shape out onto the wagon. Now you've got to do this in the base colour. I'll quickly get an example of that actually. If we have a look over here, uh, the lighter green is the base colour and we are using white for the base colour on this um, piece here. So we're going to do the outline in white and we'll then fill it in white, which I will do now. Um, for the shape, I'm just going to let you pause this and you can do this, but it isn't the best shape. I'm no way the best at doing this. But um, if you have seen some of my stock, it has come out quite well. But again, I'm no pro. This is just a simple way that you can do it. Okay, so that is now all filled in. Um, it doesn't matter if there is a little bit of lines in the coverage because that is how it actually is in graffiti in real life. And I have done a bit myself. Um, so that is just how spray paint kind of works. Uh, yours won't necessarily have this stupid bobbly bit, that is just a bit of paper from a logo I had stuck on. But now what we're going to do is we're going to have to wait to, for this to dry. So uh, yeah, I'll come back in a little bit, I'd leave it for like half an hour at least. So the creasy is now dry and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the thinner pen and we're going to try and remember the outline of what this looked like before we chucked all of the, uh, well before we filled but it. I've gone ahead and done the outline, it is on this wagon and particular is very hard to do this bit at the top like the pen just doesn't like it and as you can tell you know it isn't the best lining but realistically you know with actual graffiti if this guy is doing this car and he's running out of paint then it's going to get a little bit dodgy in parts but I will touch that up and what also, I've also done is done a thicker layer on the end here to make it look a little bit more 3D which is a effect that is pretty common on most graffiti so now what we're going to do is add a little bit more colour, you can leave it at this stage um, and this, in a, you could do this a lot smaller on a much smaller wagon like an MGR or something but a lot of graffiti is just basic black and white at the end of the day but now we're going to add in a little bit more colour I'm going with green because I like green and we're not actually going to do that Boom, don't pink worry. and purple, much better because this is green anyway so we don't want that being green so now I'm going to show you some little bits that you can do to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So the first thing I've done is I've drawn little circles and dotted the pen a bit to uh, add some pink. Okay, so now we've got a couple colours added on and that's all we're going to do for this first bit. I'm now going to try to do a much smaller piece that would fit on British rolling stock and that will go over here. So that is it so far. So, you can obviously click off the video now if you want, because that is essentially it. But uh, we are going to do another one quickly, just on the other side of the hopper, once this is dried. As you can now see, there's a much smaller uh, fill-in right here. It's just to show that it can be done on a much smaller scale than uh, this fat one here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to wait for that one to dry. And then okay, we'll so the it. final bit of feet is now done. I've done the outline, put in some colour. Another thing I just want to point out quickly, uh, graffiti artists normally will do a tag next to a big piece, which is just a smaller version of their name essentially. So I've done that there and there. And I will also normally leave a date, um, the last two letters. So obviously I've said these are done 2020. Another thing you can add is like a crew tag, um, but I haven't done one of them. Um, but yeah, so that is everything I'm going to cover today. Sorry if it isn't quite up to standard as what you might think or expect but this is how I do it um, so yeah 
Uh, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.